Good morning, planet. Salutations, orb. Whatever that means. Good morning, everybody. I'm Adam Bilsing, and this is the Oregon Drum Project, where we do daily deep dives into every aspect of playing the drums. Today is day 163, and our topic is flamadiddles, or should I say, what is a flamadiddle? It sounds cool. It's pretty cool. If you'd like to practice along with me today, I'll be running pages 42 through 50 out of a book called Mastering the Tables of Time, and I'm at 66 beats per minute, which is two-thirds of the most metal number available. So, uh, flamadiddles are here on page 46. You may have an idea what it is. It's sort of a combination of a couple different things we've talked about before. The base of it is a paradiddle, which, as we remember, is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. That's a paradiddle sticking. And what makes it a flamadiddle is that the first note of the paradiddle is now a flam. Flam, left, right, right, flam, right, left, left. Now I've really been enjoying this figure today. It's kind of nice, it feels good. I'm sort of good at it, so that's always a plus. Um, one of my favorite parts about it is that it gives you a triple stroke in each of your hands as you go through it. Um, watch a little closer. There'll be three in a row on my right hand and three in a row in my left hand. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it gives you some cool practice on your triple strokes as you get up into higher speeds. You'll start using the rebound action probably without even noticing it, and it's great exercise for that. Um, on this page, it's got it in just the basic, I don't know, first inversion or whatever you want to call it, but I was goofing around today moving that flam through the four notes of the paradiddle. So you could also play it with the flam on the second note, which would look like this. Now these variations are not strictly flamadiddles, but I've just been having fun trying them out. You could do it with the flam on the third note of the figure, which looks like this. And you could do it with the flam on the fourth note of the figure, which has been the toughest one for me, and that looks like this. almost can't play it. Anyway, to show you how this looks at varying speeds, I'm gonna go ahead and do the flamadiddles in the original flamadiddle inversion, first inversion, root position, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna run it up and down through the tables of time from eighth notes up to 16th note triplets and back down. And again, I'm at 66 beats per minute. So let's see how it looks and hear how it sounds. Not bad. Couple of flat flams at the top. Flat flams are a fact of life. All right, 
That's going to do it for day 163 of the Oregon Drum Project. That's 163 days working towards my ultimate goal of ecstatic improvisation through technical mastery of the drum set, which just means I want to freak out real good behind the drums. Special thanks, as always, to my video producer, Mr. Silas himself over at Red 11 Media. Also, shouts out today to Los Cabos Drumsticks. I'm using the 7A Red Hickory model, the Evans Real Feel Practice Pad for feeling real real, and AKG microphones for making this all sound so nice. If you'd like to follow along and make sure you don't miss any episodes of the Oregon Drum Project, go ahead and like and subscribe below. You can also catch me over on Twitter and Instagram at Dirty Bandana, on Reddit at Dirty Bandana Drums, and you can get all the details for everything about the Oregon Drum Project, including an awesome merch store where you can buy t-shirts and mugs to support me on my way at DirtyBandana.com. Head on over there if you please. That's it for today. We'll see you all next time.